how to send emails using SendGrid Twilio. Hello guys, and today we're going to talk about SendGrid. Sending emails is a crucial part of any business, and using a reliable email service provider like SendGrid can help ensure that your emails are delivered successfully. With SendGrid, you can easily create and send emails, track deliveries, and engagement metrics, and manage your email list. By integrating SendGrid with Twilio, you can also send SMS messages and create unified messages experience for your customers. Whether you are a small business owner or a large enterprise, using SendGrid can help you streamline your email communication and improve your overall customer service. Now to get started, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to SendGrid.com. Now over here, this is the homepage. And what we're simply going to do is either sign in if we already have an account or click on start for free. Now over here on the sign up page, you can simply enter your email address and then your password and then continue with I'm not. A now after signing up or logging in, this is where we will be redirected to. Currently, we are at the dashboard of SendGrid. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a sender identity. This will create the information that would be located from the email address of our recipients. This is where they will find that this email is sent by us. So we're simply going to click on create identity. And then over here, this is where we will be able to create a sender. We're simply going to add in a name, just like that, and then an email address. Then it's going to suggest us that we use a company email address and not a personal. And we're simply going to put in the same email over here. Then a company address over here. Wherever your company is located, this is a company address line too. The city over here, put in the city. Then put in the state that you are in. It depends on where you are located. We're going to select our country first going to go with Philippines and then our zip code and then add a nickname for example Caesar just like that and we're simply going to click on create and just like that we have created a sender over here you can see the address over here the nickname and if it is verified currently it's not verified you could click on the three dots over here you could reset the verification edit it or delete the verification email sent by SendGrid would be located on your email address over here. As you can see right now, this is an email from SendGrid. We can verify our email by simply, by simply clicking on this button over here. And as you can see, our sender identity has been successfully verified. As you can see here, we're simply going to refresh this page. And our verification is now on the check. Now over here on the left side, we can see that we have a dashboard, which we saw earlier, an email API where we can create dynamic templates and also see integration guide. There's also marketing over here. We can set automations, single sends, contacts, custom fields, sign up forms, senders, notification, unsubscribe groups. We could also have a design library, a stat page over here, activity, suppression, settings, and SMS. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to go to marketing over here and we're going to click on contacts. Now, over here in the contact list, this is where we will be able to add all the different contacts that we will be sending our emails to. We can simply click on create over here and this will allow us to create a new list or a new segment. We could add contacts by clicking on this option over here. We could add CSV or we could manual add by clicking on manual add. This is where we will be able to add their First name, class name, email, and alternative emails, their address, city, province, region, postal codes, and country. We could add contacts and include an existing list. We could add contacts to a new list and you could put it over here. You could also click on active export, which will allow you to export your current list. And you could also delete all your contacts by clicking on this option over here, which would allow you to delete all your contacts. Now, as you can see here on the left side, we have automations, single sends, custom fields, sign up forms, senders, notification, and unsubscribe groups. Sign up forms, single sends, and automation are all features that sends an email to 
whomever your contact list is. For example, over here on the automation, this is basically an automated email sent to contacts. For example, if someone sent an email to you, they will get an automated response for their email saying that, for example, we will get to them as soon as possible, just like that. So we're simply going to create an automation over here. And you could select from greet new contacts with timely message as soon as they are added to a list. Or you could build your own automation from scratch. We're going to click on from scratch. And over here, this is where we will be able to create our automation. The title of our automation will be edited over here. For example, we're going to say, thank you for messaging us. Just like that, we could add an entry criteria over here. The current criteria for our automation is when a new contact is added to our list. So we're going to change our title to welcome instead. And our criteria is when someone is added to our contact list. We're going to set it to all contacts because we haven't created a list. If you want to create a list, you can simply click this and you would be able to create a list name over here. For example, customers and you can click on save list. And this will allow you to have a list that is labeled customers. And this automation will be activated when someone is added to the customer list. Now over here, when will our contacts leave the automation? They will leave the automation when they have received all emails in automation or if, if the contact no longer meets the entry criteria. We can simply click on whichever option we have over here. We can choose this one, for example. What unsubscribe group and categories would you like to assign to this message? You could add a unsubscribe group over here and a category over here. Right now, we have no option. There's also what emails are included in the automation. This is where we will be able to create our email. Over here, we will be able to add email content, edit the subject, and from the sender, for example, we're going to edit our subject over here. Welcome, that's our subject for now. Then the sender over here, which will be us. I'm going to click on update. And then we're going to add an email content. We're going to click this. And over here, this is where we will be able to see our email design. You can also check out the SendGrid email designs over here. This is basically different templates that you could use for your email. So right now, we're going to borrow a template. For example, this one. Going to click on select. And you could edit it using design editor or a code editor. If you are a programmer and very familiar with coding, you could use this. But if you are someone with no experience, you can simply click on the design editor over here. Now over here, we are redirected to the editing page of SunGrid. This is where we will be able to edit the content of our email. As you can see here, we have a very well-designed email. This is a very good template. Ad. As you hover over the different elements, you would be able to edit every component. For example, our text over here, we could click this. We could either duplicate by clicking on this icon over here, and we could also delete this specific section. We could also edit the module HTML by clicking this icon over here. Now, as you can notice, when I click this section over here, this pop-up on the left side appeared. This is the text module styles. This is where we will be able to edit the content of this specific block over here. We could change the text style over here. We could change it to heading, heading to a normal text. We could change the font, the font size, the line height, the text color, the text highlight, background color, and the padding. Basically, what it would look like, you would be able to edit this on this section. You could also edit the alignment by clicking on this options over here. We could move it to center, line the right, or justified, just like that. We could edit the content by simply highlighting on the specific text and you would be able to edit the specific content by deleting or typing in whatever you want, just like that. You could also check out the columns over here. As you can see, this is an image. You could change the layout of the specific column by clicking on the different options over here. We have two columns over here. As you can see, it's going to change three columns, four columns, one, two columns, two, one columns one third columns and third one column. We can also edit the background color by using this option over here. We can move it around just like that. It's going to change the color over here. If you have a specific code in mind, you can simply put it in here. You could also add paddings and a cell padding over here. And, and unlike earlier, this is not a text. This is actually an image. So you could click on edit image over here. 
and you would be able to edit the image over here by clicking this you would be able to change the specific image into something else you can simply drag your image over here or you can click on image to upload and this will replace this image with your specifically chosen image you could also add a link url over here so that when they click on the specific part they would be redirected to wherever location you have chosen over here you could also add an alternative text because sometimes photos doesn't load so you can simply type in the alternative text gadgets and gizmos just like that you could add more padding you could add image responsiveness you could turn this off or on just like that you could add a width over here and you can edit the image alignment just like what we did with the text over here now this is also an image what we are seeing over here so we could do the same thing you could edit it by changing the image adding the url adding alt, alt text and many more and over here we have a heading we also have a button over here we could click this button over here we could change the text of this button by simply editing it over here you could add a button url wherein if they click this they would be redirected to your shop or whatever e-commerce website that you have you could change the background color the weight height and many more basically every single part of this email template that we have right now can be edited and then customized to your specific style we can also see the general settings over here the template settings where we could add an email subject email preheader and from the sender we could also test our email by clicking on this option over here we could add our email address over here that we would like to test our email on for example we're going to put in our email just like that then click on send test email by clicking on this you would be able to send a test email to whatever email address that you have added over here and you would be able to check it out we could also click on build over here this is where you would be able to add the different elements that we are seeing over here such as images text columns image and text buttons code divider spacer social and unsubscribe over here you can simply click on the specific element that you like or a module and you could drag it wherever you would like to appear it on just like that you can simply drag and drop it wherever you like it to be added and just like i told you earlier you get delete by clicking on this icon just like that there's also tags over here where you will be able to add tags into your email and after creating your email after editing every single part of this after customizing it you can simply click on preview over here which would allow you to see the preview of this specific email as you can see we're checking it out on a desktop form we can check it out on a mobile form just like this and a plain text option over here just like that now after doing this you can simply click on save and we could go back to our automation page over here and our email is added and, and we could also check out the automation options over here on the top right we could set it to live or you could duplicate this we could set it to live we're going to do this and click on confirm and just like that our automation is live now we could also do single sense email over here where we could create a single email to a specific person where we're going to click this and we're going to see the same thing that we saw earlier you could do this the same process we did with the automation and that's it guys that's how you can send an email using sendgrid hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching